good, huh? Not bad. She's amazing. Anatomically speaking. My wife? She's even better. Want to see? Just kidding? He's funny, like Osman. Ah, funny. He's funny looking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy your dessert. Oh, thank you. I couldn't possibly eat anything else. One house. Mm, thank, thank you. you. Special uh, delivery. Oz, the food is amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Well, my, my mother's a fantastic cook, so. Did she always want to have a restaurant? Uh, my dad did, actually. When I was a kid, he worked as a mechanic, and at night he drove my uncle's cab. My uncle was pretty mad when he found out about the cab. And then when I was 12, he had enough money to open the place, so there you go. Enjoy. No, no come wait, sit with go? us. Come here. I have to go back to the kitchen. Yeah, they let all the other staff go, so it's just me and Mom back there. Does that mean that you you made this? I had a hand in it, yeah. Well, I'm working here now, you know, when I'm not in the ambulance. Oz, if you keep this up, you'll need an ambulance. Tell them that. They think Toby and I drive around all day telling jokes. It is what we do. What's going on? The business is bad. Uh, this recession, you know, nobody's going out for an authentic Turkish dining experience anymore. They got a business loan, and they're a bit behind. Well, a little bit's not bad. Four payments. All right, that's bad. They got 14 days to come up with $100,000, or they lose the house and the business, and they're out on the street. Or worse, staying with me. Well, there's got to be a way to raise more money. We've tried everything. Their bank, relatives, other banks, you know, times are tough. You got any ideas? Me? Money? No, you're paying for dinner. Told me that's it. Telepathy. Must be some way to make some cash. I can't. Can't what? I cannot wait for your baklava. Olivia, did I ever tell you about Toby? You're out of line. You're right. But I'm desperate. Desperate? Here, what? try some of this. I'm sorry about last night. Hey, forget about it. How late were you there? Two in the morning. I had to be at the market at six. Oh, is your pain in the ass with eight hours of sleep? Well, that's why it's in your best interest to use your gift to help me out. My gift is useless for making money. Believe me, I tried when I was younger. The only sure thing is guessing weight at the exhibition. 186 pounds? Not bad, huh? I set up a booth. Ah, it's not, I know where you're going with this. I didn't think anything. I'm not reading your mind. I know how you think. I didn't say it, but you'll do it. I'm not cheating at poker. Who says telepathy's against the rules? Me. Anyway, I don't have the money to buy into a game. I got 400 bucks. I'm not gonna help you by stealing from someone. You play against the casino, you're ripping off a corporation. Owned by the pension plans of guys like you and me. But what if you're playing against guys who aren't like you and me? Who? Oh, man. Good workout, sir. What do you want? You still playing poker? I don't play poker, I win at poker. I won five hands in a row last week. Really? Five hands, that's impressive. Well, you know, Toby here actually just came into a little inheritance and he was looking for a way to flip it, you know, double up. Oh, let it ride. Well, you know, I uh, ran into a few uh, high rollers at Gamblers Anonymous last week. So I was looking for a big game. Is that so? Nice place you got here. Thank you, sir. Look, we're off the clock. Call me George. Yes, sir. So you enjoy working with Mr. Bay? Yeah. He's a good guy, you know? Good at his job. But listen, between you and I, what's his problem? Problem? No, he doesn't have a problem. He's just uh, got a lot of energy, you know? He's uh, a lot of opinions. Now I'm talking about the last couple of weeks, he's being preoccupied, stressed out, and tired all the time. Look at you looking out. 
Look, this is no joke. Maybe we get a lot of applications for EMS positions, and at the best of times, Oz is the weakest link in the chain. You want to get that? Yeah. Now listen, man, it's between you and I, okay? Hey, what's up, hey, fellas? Man. How you doing? Grab yourself a seat. There we go, hey. man. Computer! Big man. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Should have gone to Johnny's curriculum. Should I go for the straight? Or should I go straight home? He's high flush. I'm taking these dudes down. Full house, kings over aces. Full house, aces over kings. There's no way I can lose. How much you got? Ignore the eyes, shoulders, hands, breathing. He's bluffing. and you lost it? I didn't see it coming, all right? I was reading his mind, he didn't see it coming either. You know that money was for my family, right? It's, it's not a game. You have my 400 bucks? I'll get it back to you. Oh, you get it back to me. Okay, that's fine, that's cool, we're good then. I should be calm, like you. I'm overreacting, right? Because we have a plan B, don't we? Guessing people's weights? Step right up, $30,000. Get your weight guessed. Hey, Liv, Liv. Hey, you looking for Oz? Actually, I'm looking for you. Well, he's in here. I heard it this morning on the radio. This millionaire is putting up a $100,000 reward to find this missing person's remains. And Oz here is on it. Here she is. He likes detective stuff, right? So I figured you'd like this. No, what do you say? You said $100,000 for a dead person, is it? Yeah, she was murdered nine months ago by her husband. He was just convicted. Where to go? Hey, I'm going to call you later. OK. You going to answer? Yes, All right. I will. Okay. Oh, thanks, Luke. Right. So who's offering the money? The husband. Husband, he was convicted of killing her. He knows where the body is. That's weird. It's all about the appeal, Toby. He thinks it makes him look innocent the way OJ was looking for the real killers. Exactly. I'll find the body and I'll prove that he did it. Without a body, he'll get out on appeal, right? Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Oz's family. I really am, but I just can't give you up no, all this information. Let me see the file, Charlie. The detective who solved this case is a very good friend of mine. All right, I won't screw up. I promise. Arthur Stabb, 62, a carpenter with an eighth grade education. And he worked his way up to being a millionaire. Being ruthless helped. Katie was Arthur's third wife. She was 28. And Beautifully, yeah, I saw the picture. Well, apparently Arthur was really jealous, because three months before Katie's disappearance, he took out a $5 million insurance policy on both himself. And on Katie. Uh, obvious. Jury thought so. There was nothing pointing to someone else. No forced entry. Neighbors heard a man and woman yelling, and then a few moments later, gunshots. He was so arrogant, I guess he thought he could get away with it. I see what you mean. You won't regret it, Charlie. I'm better. Thank you. Stabs, I drove two hours to get here. I'm very interested in your case. I think I might be able to find the body. How? You a psychic? Because yesterday I had a woman in here going to go looking for Katie with a dousing rod. 
You put a reward on a website, it's gonna happen. What'd you expect? I expected someone to come forward who knew something. Your ex-girlfriend of the uh, killer? Mother? I don't know. Someone who saw something. I didn't expect someone who's gonna waste my time. Well, you do have a lot of time to waste. 25 years, isn't it? So, let's talk, see what happens. I was on the West Coast on business. I took the red eye home. I got to the house about 8 a.m. At breakfast, and then I'm wondering, why is Katie still asleep? So I went upstairs. There was blood on the sheets. There were feathers everywhere. I called the cops. They found fresh dirt on a shovel in my garage. They found drops of Katie's blood in the trunk of my Porsche. And they found a bullet in the bed, same caliber as my gun. Which they never found. Prosecution argued that you came home, you shot your wife, you drove somewhere, you buried her. You returned home. Ate breakfast and called 911. Their case was that I was a moron. Because you'd have to be a moron to leave that many clothes. And the jury bought it because they were morons. Your defense. I love Katie. We fought. Yeah. Was I a perfect husband? No. But then, she wasn't a perfect wife. I can tell you this, everything I did, I did for Katie and Tyler. Tyler is your son? Yeah, first March. Was he close to Katie? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. Are you close to him? Look, this has got nothing to do with Tyler. Your defense is that you were set up? Mm, I was. You had to have made some enemies along the way. Why would they kill your wife? Why not kill you? Someone hates you, they kill you. Someone despises you, they kill the one you love. What do you mean you don't know where the body is? I couldn't get a read. Well, th then someone must have moved the body for him. Or he doesn't know anything about the murder. Oh, Toby, please don't tell me that. Come on. Oh, it's, it's possible. This guy has a lot of enemies. I don't even know where to start. So how are we going to find this body? We can talk to his son. That's a good place to start. See this? My parents are calling me off the hook about this. My mom is so hopeful she sounds crazy. My father's so negative that you just want to strangle him. You should answer. You want me to answer? Hello? Yeah. Yes, why? What? My dad had a heart attack. Yeah, Mom, we're coming right now. What'd they say? I don't know. He's gonna be fine. It was a panic attack. Panic attack? That's okay, that's good, that's yes, a good thing. It is okay. A rapid heart rate, sweating, dizziness, chest pains, all these symptoms can indicate a cardiac incident, but the tests show that his heart is perfectly normal. Oh, that's one thing my Demir is not normal. <laughs> well, he's a lovely man and he's ready to go home, so just make sure that he stays calm. Okay, you hear that, Mom? Calm. Okay? Yeah. Do that. Demir! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Mae, Mae. Oh. I met two paramedics. Oh. The stories they told me about you. <laughs> Is there any way we can keep him here for another week or two? Mm, ah. No. <laughs> I agreed to see it because my father asked, but uh, I don't have a clue what to say. We tried everything, best lawyers, private eyes. Well, uh, thank you for seeing us. Appreciate that. Hey, you're welcome. You were in Boston when it happened, taking a master's in law at Harvard. Although I gotta tell you, I learned a lot more about a lot of my father's trial than I ever did at grad school. Oh yeah, how's that? Well, 
There's a murder and a murder trial. They're two different realities. My father was clearly set up. Listen, Bartolo. Take care of it. You think the jury was wrong? Yeah. Look, uh, Katie was gorgeous. She's charming, sexy. Prosecutors turned the whole thing into a nighttime soap. Were you uh, and Katie close? Not really, no. Your father, was he a jealous guy? Yeah. Did Katie have any affairs? I know of one. Did Arthur know? Yeah. Hey, look, my father divorced two other wives. I saw no reason he wouldn't divorce a third. Well, maybe he got tired of losing half his money. You get tired of talking? All right, thank you. You no problem. Good luck. Thank you. All right, listen, I don't have a guy's last name, but I, I'm, I want you to check out Juan Polo. Okay, do you have an image of this guy? Oh, uh, I saw. He was uh, maybe late 40s, Latino Oz actually thinks it's the son. Oh, does he now? Okay, these are all the mopes in the system with first or last name Bartolo. Do you recognize any of them? This guy right here. Yeah. Bartolo Cortazar, originally from Argentina. You see the muscle? No, he is the vice president of Steps Construction. Kidding. Mm -hmm. He had an assault conviction in 1984. Since then, he's been charged five times. Conspiracy, arson, assault, fraud, and obstruction. He was found innocent each and every time. How many runs was that? Don't know. You count. One, two, three, five, ten. It was ten and twelve hours. There's got to be some kind of record, eh? Hey? Oz? Is that Molly Sims? Take your day. What? Hey, you were asleep. You were dreaming. Why don't you go home? I'll take care of the supplies, and then I'm going to go see that Bartolo guy. I'm coming to that. Fine. The guys are heavy. Let me do the questioning. You got it. You're the cop. Okay, officer. Yeah, it's pretty nice out here, Toby. They probably wouldn't even find our bodies till spring. Hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. We're here to see Bartolo. Uh... You mind if we come in? Thank you. Can you get him for us? Sure. Awesome. Awesome. Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Toby Logan. Good. Bartolo. Awesome. Hi. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, I guess uh, Arthur Stebbs spoke to you. I don't speak to Arthur. He leaves messages. What happened between the two of you? Arthur and I uh, built the company. And right now, business is kind of slow on account of the fact that my partner is a convicted murderer. Answer your question? Uh, well, we, we just wanted to know what you knew about uh, Katie Stebbs' murder. <laughs> I know he killed her, buried her, and then he forgot to hide the evidence. He was not a man of details. Are you implying that I might know where Arthur buried her? No. 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 Good, because I don't. I got that, yeah. So, like, you have no idea who would have done it for him, who's involved with him on this thing? You know if Arthur was friends with a, a goalie? You know, uh... Meeting you two gentlemen was really very nice. But uh, I have other things to do. Sorry. Great. No, More thank you. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Nice. Kerry va a ser un problema. Thank you. Idiotas. Stamp as dirt. Gary, Bartolo, call me. How's the treasure hunt, boys? Hey, do you know a guy named Gary who wears goalie mask when he commits crimes? I'm watching too many horror movies, Toby. No, I'm not. I got a hit from Bartolo of a goalie killing Katie Steps. Ah, uh, does he play for the Leafs or the Rangers? It's funny. it's funny. I can't help you out unless you give me a last name. Plus, I got a guy in emergency who claims to have shot himself twice in the back. Gotta go. Play for the Leafs or the Rangers? You said it was a goalie, right? Maybe she's right. So it wasn't a goalie, it was a Bartolo? No, it was a goalie. Toby, I'm confused, man. Ah, uh, okay. My gift isn't perfect, okay? I, I read Bartolo's mind. He's just the goalie shooting her. Either he's the goalie who did it, or he hired a goalie to do it. 
He hired a goalie. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So all we gotta do is find a goalie named Gary? Any ideas? Yeah, tons. All right, check this out. I got a, a Gary Van Bemmel, Gary Rose, and Gary Martino. Now they're with Dial a Goalie. And I got Gary Dembski, Gary Tintero. Those are indie guys, they just got websites. What is this? What have you done? Well, maybe this Gary, the goalie, is one of those guys you call when you're playing hockey and you got nobody to stick a net. Rent the goalie. Yeah. Well, you got a better idea. No. Okay, well, I called these guys up, told them we need to see if they're any good. I got a list of where and when. We're scouts, bro. I don't even know what this guy looks like, Oz. No voice either? No. Nope. Well, so then read their minds. <laughs> yeah, Dad, don't... Look, your health is more important, okay? Mom and I will take care of the restaurant ourselves. Yes? No, I won't let him do the food. Yeah. Okay, I love you too, Dad. Okay, bye. Him and me? Do the food? What? Oh, no, it's... He has a strange thing about white people touching the food. It doesn't. Is, is that is that the guy? Hey, roll your window down. Hey, Gary. Are you Gary the goalie? Yeah. Oh, hey. You looking for a goalie? Hey, close the window. It's cold. Hey, how you doing, hey. Gary? Toby Logan. Hey, when are you looking for somebody? Oh. Katie's address, he's thinking about his girlfriend. I mentioned the name of the rink, he's thinking about his girlfriend. Then I pretend to get a phone call from a goalie named Bartolo who can do it after all, and he's thinking about his girlfriend. So. Was she cute at least? In his mind, yeah. She was. What do you mean, guys exaggerate the hotness of their girlfriends in their own mind? You kidding me, yeah. Everyone does that. Well, I date very attractive women, so I wouldn't know about that. Time. Okay, who's next? You know, Toby, I think the son did it. Think about it, he ends up with all the money. The only problem is he was away at school. Where's the, uh, Gary Rose, right? Who's that? Yeah, that's the last one on the list. All right. Gary Rose? Where are you? How you doing? I'm Toby Logan. We're looking for a goalie for a couple games on the weekend. Charge 55 an hour plus travel. Yeah, that's fine. Where? Oakville. What rink? Centennial Arena, 48 St. Kevin Avenue. <laughs> It's actually a mixed league. It's run by a girl named Katie. Who are you? What the hell are you talking about? That's a man. We're just looking for a killer goalie. What are you nuts, man? What the hell? Take it easy. Easy. Tell your friend he gives me the creeps. Yeah, I can hear you. Peace. Good. See that coming. Ribs aren't broken, just a little bruised. Right over here, though. Right there. Yeah. That explains the last year and a half. Okay. There's no heart. Ow. Yeah. No. There's a heart there. No. That hurt. Mm -hmm. Come here. Look, doctor. Look. Doctor, come here. Give me your hands, please. This right here. Feel that. Right there. Mm. That's a heartbeat. Maybe. Yeah. But I think you have tachycardia. What's that? That is. Uh, oh. Yeah, accelerated heartbeat, yes, mm. it's dangerous, right? Can lead to severe lightheadedness. I have lightheadedness. Is there a cure for that? Maybe. Some osculatory therapy. Yeah, wow, what's that? I forgot what that one was. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your family's uh, money problems. What kind of restaurant was it again? Yeah. It's Turkish. I didn't know you were Turkish. Yeah, it's good. It's a lot of meat and cheese and uh, dough and crumbled 
pistachios. Well, anyway, to answer your question, probably the quickest way is to go short on the 60 and long on the Russell. I don't know what you're talking about, horse racing? No, stock market. So what kind of capital are we dealing with here? 500. 500,000, wow. $500. $500, what are you, crazy? Toby, get over here. Did you realize our boy had such a sense of humor? Oh, uh, no, sir, not at all. He doesn't have one. I, I'm actually trying to be quite serious. So when are you getting back on the rig? Doc says tomorrow I should be better. All right, well, you take care of that. All right, excuse me. Hey, does it hurt? Uh, only when I breathe. Come with me, I want to show you something. Sorry I didn't get back to you earlier, but it's been kind of a crazy night. Did you find Gary Rose? Kind of. We found a body I think you might be interested in. Gary Stebbs? No, we pulled him out from the lake. He had a hockey puck stuffed in his mouth with duct tape shut. Is this the guy you were talking about? Yeah. So how'd you know how to find him? Let's put together a list of goalies named Gary. We went, we talked, then we talked to this guy, obviously, he knew something about Kay. So was he your killer? I don't know. I don't know. I saw gunshots, I saw blood on sheets, and next thing you know, I see him with her, and she's fine, and they're leaving the bedroom. But you didn't see him kill her? No. Did I get this guy killed? No, he got himself killed. The question is, by whom? Where do we gotta go? Gary Rose. Am I right? Maybe this one will ring a bell. His color is not so good. Do you remember the assault charge you ducked? Well, Gary didn't. He spent two years in Kingston for it. It's a hell of a coincidence, don't you think? Yeah. Wow. Tranquilo. Ella no sabe nada. Did Arthur Stubbs ask you to do this? I haven't spoken to Arthur since the day he got arrested. Okay? Look, all I know is this. His son, Tyler, is trying to sell me his share of the business. This is a boom to Europe. You ask me, he's cleaning a house. All right, Bartolo. So what'd you get? Well, he knows more than he's telling you. He keeps thinking in Spanish, be calm, relax. He knows nothing. Well, he's right. That's all you got from him? Yeah. I'll have to keep my eye on him then. I have a few questions for you, Tyler. No idea who that is. The name Gary Rose doesn't sound familiar to you. Is he that is Gary? He Gary? No. Why do you ask? Oh my God. Oh my God. Just a minute, Cupcake. You think your father's innocent? Can you explain to me why I'm here, detective? Be right back. All right, so they, they both know something, he knows something, and he's... You think they're in it together? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Something's going on here. He was a hood. 
And what, you, uh, you think he killed Katie? No, but we're pretty sure that your partner Bartolo knew Gary. Now Gary's dead. Must be the guy he hired. He hired. You think Bartolo could have done it? Someone, Someone double-crossed double -crossed me. me. Did you know your son Tyler is negotiating to sell the company to Bartolo? You know, he's one of my company. Hello, Tyler. You did have an affair with your wife. <laughs> you know, she always did have good taste. Could he have killed her? I... I don't know what happened. You listen to me! You are never gonna leave me! Never! With Arthur and Charlie? Uh, sorry, man, it's been tough. It's hard to tell if Arthur's guilty or not. Bartolo could have hired Gary to frame Arthur. Or Arthur found out Tyler was having an affair with his stepmom and he got Bartolo to hire Gary. Right, okay, or Katie broke it off with Tyler and Tyler hired Gary. Or Arthur killed her himself. See what I mean? It's tough. If you ask me, it was that Tyler. Why do you think it was Tyler? I don't know, it's, it's a hunch, you know? That's a thing, right? Detectives get hunches. I feel like if we lean on this guy one more time, we're gonna get something. All right, you wanna go talk to him? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm just leaving. But Tyler, do you mind if we just come in and talk for a few minutes? No, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. Right, it's about your father's case, actually. We've made some startling discoveries. What? What if we talk inside, Tyler? It's a little cold out here. What have you found out? It's kind of complicated, actually. Do I have to move her? Move her? So, mind the stuff you want. Okay, but just, I mean, this is stuff you want to hear. And thank you, Tyler. You know what? I think you might be right. I think he's involved in this. Check this out. close. Charlie's car. What, she followed him here too? <sighs> Toby, don't call it in. Do not call, call it in. in. Don't get out of the car, Toby! Toby!
Backup's on the way. Call the coroner. All right. So what happened? The suspect had a gun. I pulled my weapon and ordered the suspect to freeze. He fired once in my direction and another time fired. Copy. We're on our way. Hi! Get hit? It's my arm. Let me see. Is he okay? Who's there? Tyler. Katie. It's okay. Katie. Katie Stebbs. I woke up and I thought I heard a noise. I went looking and by the time I got back to my bedroom, there was a guy there. I thought he was a thief. Drop it! Kick it back. Look, I have information. Valuable information. I can tell you something that will save your life. Finally, when I realized what he was talking about, it wasn't robbery. Arthur wanted me dead. So I said, fine, I'll be dead. We'll frame Arthur, he'll go to jail. Tyler will get everything. Bought Katie a new identity. We were going to Spain. But Gary didn't tell you the whole story, did he? It wasn't Arthur. No, no. We found that out tonight. It was Bartolo. Bartolo must have gotten the truth out of Gary before he killed him. That's why he was coming to see you. He was cleaning house. You framed the wrong man. This is the place that got me out of prison, huh? This is it. This is the check. Thank you. No, thank you, Toby. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Bay, your mortgage is history. Mom? Dad? Huh? Where's hey. the guy? Mr. Steps, thank you. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. My whole family, thanks. This is Arthur Steps, Mom. Dad, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, it's good to be out. I bet, I bet. How's it going with Tyler? Well, you know how it is. He's flesh and blood. He didn't know anything about Bartolo. He thought it was me. And you, do you have any idea it was Bartolo? I want her dead. I don't care how you do it, you do it! Do it. No. He had me completely fooled. Yeah, I know the feeling. Katie, how's, uh, how's she? It's Katie. You know, I believe in forgiveness, but not for her. Not for her.